Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, <laughs> long time no talk. Um, as you guys know, uh, most of you know that I was on a wax band for a very long time. I've been on a wax band for three months now. And I just recently broke it and I went apeshit. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Um, that's my problem is not really finding a middle ground. Either I ban myself from buying anything or I buy everything. So yeah, a bit of a problem there. Now, okay, so I'm trying to decorate for Valentine's Day, obviously, and I feel like this just doesn't look right. I'm really not happy with it, but I didn't really know how to change it and work things around. I might switch the love and the heart box because I had them switched, but then you couldn't really see the candles that I had set up. Um, and these are really the only like pinky kind of a Valentine's Day vendor candles that I have. I'm going to see if I could buy some more just for like the aesthetic and put them back there. Um, but as of right now, that's kind of all I had. And I feel like that cotton candy ice cream one is just not fitting in because it's so pink and red and white. So I don't know. We'll fix that later. So I really wanted to get these videos up because I've had these orders for a few days now and I really want to start digging into them. So we can go ahead and get started. So this first one obviously is from Busy Tarts. I have so many orders coming in, it is not even funny. Um, and I do have a few reviews that I wanted to get up as well. Um, now also, I'm sitting back farther from the camera than I usually do. Normally I kind of sit on the floor, but that's been like so uncomfortable for me lately. So I'm kind of sitting up more on the couch. So um, if I f sound a little bit more distant, I'm sorry. I'm still trying to get used to the setup. Um, so hopefully I sound okay and I don't have to remake this video. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So BC Tarts has been the same since day one. Um, I've been ordering from him since probably 2011, 2012, maybe 2013, and the labels have always been the same. The packaging has always been the same. The way he ships things have always been the same. He always puts them in the little um, cellophane bags. Um, he does, you know, obviously swap out scents now and then, but he's had the same scents for years. Um, they always smell the same. It's not even as if he changes oils or anything. Um, he does not have a group, but he does have a business page. He does not have an Instagram. He's very, very, very quiet in the wax community. He definitely keeps to himself and just pushes out his own stuff. Um, so he's definitely one of the most consistent vendors that I have, I have ever seen. I um, mean, I'm really, really excited to have some more of his stuff because I have been going through his stuff like crazy. I love his stuff, so I really needed to get some more. All right, so let's stop blabbering and get into this. So one of the first new ones that I saw was this one, which is Jelly Donut Bread. And I, I want to say it's Amish Friendship Bread, but don't quote me on it. I forgot to get the scent description for you. But his jelly donut by far is like my favorite jelly donut in the wax community. It is amazing. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, I have to get it. So I got two of those. It smells amazing. It definitely smells like Amish Friendship Bread to me. Um, if I'm wrong, I will put it down below. Now, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, well. All right, moving on. <laughs> Oh, um, a lot of these lids are super cracked. They always crack in transit. It's just something that has always been a thing with Beezy Tarts because he fills up the cups so much that it's kind of impossible to get the lid on. So it's not clicking on there and then it's really easy to break, which really isn't a big deal because I could just put them in bags. But um, a lot of these are cracked. Most of them actually are cracked. All right, next one is Beezy Bakery Shop. This is another new one. Well, for me anyway. It smells so good. It smells like zucchini bread, cinnamon rolls, like maybe Amish bread. It is amazing. And I knew I was going to love it. So I got two of those as well. I did forget to get some descriptions. So I will put them in the description bar below. Um, but I think a lot of you are bakery lovers. So I, I'm pretty sure most of you will like these ones that I'm showing. Another new one that he added was Bear Claws, and I was so stoked when I saw this. I'm sure you guys can, can sense my excitement. I was so excited. Oh my god, and it's amazing. I knew it was going to be amazing. He has such the best oils, you guys. Like, his stuff is just uh, so above and beyond. So I got two of those as well. Oh, I just realized I forgot to show my samples. Oops. 
All right, samples really quick. So he's always given these little donuts as samples as well. That's always been a thing. Uh, so this first one is in pomegranate cider. I'm not really crazy on these samples, so I'll just go ahead and give them away. Um, speaking of samples, I have a video to make that is in response to my chatty vendor video. And one of them is people selling their samples. I'm not going to get into it here. I'll make another video on it. But I cannot believe how many people I've seen lately trying to sell their samples. And that is so wrong. Stop doing it. It's not okay. And if you don't understand why it's not okay, it's because you don't pay for them. You get them for free. So like that's like someone giving you a gift and then you turning around and selling it for money. Like, no, not okay. All right, next one is cactus and sea salts. Um, and then the next one is key lime pie. So although I'm grateful for samples, those just really are not... For me okay moving right along i got pink loopy loops i've talked about this one numerous times it's one of my favorites um and you don't really see me hauling fruit loops or pink sugar all that often uh, but i love pink fruit loops together and his fruit loops in particular is amazing so i did get one of those um because it's like the most authentic fruit loops oil that i've ever spilled all right next up is pumpkin dolce i want to say but i feel like i'm saying that wrong this one smells really nice. I'm kind of over fall and winter scents for the most part, but this one was new, so I wanted to try it anyways. It's kind of more of like a sweet, creamy pumpkin scent. It's definitely not spicy, not cinnamony. Um, it's definitely like maybe even like caramel or something added to it. I don't know, but it's really nice. All right, next one I have is cinnamon buns. I love this one. So good. Again, like super, super authentic. Okay, next one I have is a vanilla hazelnut latte. So I don't think I've actually ever had a coffee scent from him before. And although vanilla hazelnut latte it really isn't my favorite, um, I wanted to try one from him just to kind of see and like feel them out. It's actually really good. It's not super strong on the coffee, but it's definitely there. It's definitely like, okay, yeah, that's definitely a coffee scent. And um, you definitely get the hazelnut. I mean, that's really the most that I can say on scents like these. Can't get the lid back on. Okay, moving right along. There's a lot here, which is why I'm not going like super into detail. <laughs> All right, uh, wild berry mousse and zucchini bread. I do not know why I did not get two of these. This is amazing. And I don't think I've ever had wild berry mousse zucchini bread from him before. Oh my God. All of his oils just smell like, ah. Uh, I wish I could explain it better. It's just like, they just seem a lot more realistic and stronger. I, I don't even really want to say stronger because a lot of vendors have really strong wax, but they just seem a lot more like higher end is really the best way I can explain it. They don't smell cheap. Oh my God, it smells amazing. There's always just like that extra something in there that's just like, holy crap, like that is so good. I wish I could explain myself better. But for those of you who have ordered from BZ's and, and have ordered from lots and lots of different vendors, I'm sure you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, then we have Rice crispy. This is actually really, really strong. I mean, Rice Krispie Treats don't exactly have a scent, so it's not something like, oh yeah, like I could definitely pick that out as a Rice Krispie Treat, but it's definitely like cakey and vanilla-esque, and it's honestly really strong, to be honest, for a Rice Krispie Treat scent. I did get it mostly as a blender, but now I'm really curious to try that on its own to see how it does. All right, then I got Marshmallow Bread, which is one of my favorite blenders from him. It's just like so good. It's like you definitely get that bready note in there. And I don't know, again, what kind of bread it is. He does a lot of Amish friendship bread, so I can only assume that's what it is. Mixed with like, um, not marshmallow fluff. It's definitely not marshmallow fluff because I have his marshmallow fluff and it doesn't smell like that. But um, I don't know, probably just any old marshmallow scent. It's really good. All right, then we have pink sugar bread. Now, for the longest time, I thought this was pink sugar and zucchini bread, and it's not. This one is definitely Amish friendship bread because I do remember reading the description on this one, and I've had this numerous times. I really, really like it. 
And I always thought that I'm like, that kind of smells cinnamony. And I always thought it was just my nose, but now I realize it does smell cinnamony, you dumb dumb, because it, it has Amish friendship bread in it. Doy. Uh, but this is amazing. This is like one of his staples. It's like you haven't ordered from Beezy's if you haven't ordered that scent. <laughs> All right, next up is Caramel Nut Cluster. I'm like 99% sure I have this one as well. I wasn't home when I was making these, well, not all of the orders, but most of these orders. So I was kind of just guesstimating what I have. But this one's amazing. It's definitely super strong and sweet and sticky and like overly sweet almost, but I love it. It's such a good scent. It would be a good blender too. Speaking of blenders, Marshmallow Sugar Cookie. This one is definitely similar to the marshmallow bread scent. It's actually almost exact, to be honest. It, it might have a slightly less cakey type of note and maybe a little bit more of like a sweet sugary type of note, um, but it's really good. Okay, this one I have is zucchini bread and this one is also new. So good. <clears throat> I mean, this lid though is like torn to shreds, but Oh, I love his zucchini bread. This is definitely one of my favorites forever, for always. I'm obsessed. Um, it's incredibly strong on cold. I don't, I've never had his zucchini bread on its own ever um, because I think he just recently added it. I'm pretty sure, like I'm 99% sure that I've never had it on its own. So good. And then I also got wild berry mousse on its own just to kind of feel them out and try them separately. And it's amazing. Oh my God, it's so freaking good. And this is coming from someone who does not love fruity scents. And that one is definitely way more bakery than it is fruity in my opinion. All right, then we have Fruit Loops on its own. I'm just gonna smell it really quick because I love it so much. This is literally like opening a box of Fruit Loops and kind of like getting down to the bottom where like the powdery stuff is. That's what this reminds me of. It is amazing the most authentic fruit loops ever 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 all right cake batter ice cream another one that i kind of just got as a blender this one actually is not very strong it mostly just kind of smells like vanilla like a really nice vanilla scent Uh, jelly donut by itself love it I've talked about this numerous times I don't feel like I need to go over that one I'm obsessed I probably have like three more <laughs> in the drawer I got lemon eclair which this one is new to me I've been trying really hard to find a lemon scent that I really like um, now I do like most bakery lemon scents obviously I don't like cleaner lemon or I even really don't like lemon on its own I like it way better like mixed with some type of bakery item but I've been trying to find one that I love. And this one's okay. It's not, oh my God, I'm obsessed, but it's okay. I do like it. It's really creamy. It's really bakery. It's really strong. Um, it's definitely not like a lemon curd, which is like incredibly strong, tart, even almost kind of like a sour note. That one's definitely a lot sweeter, a lot more softer is really the best way I can explain it. All right, then I grabbed yellow cake just because of sheer wanting to know what it smelled like <laughs> like I was just sheer curiosity it legit smells like cake batter though like if anything this is the most authentic actual cake batter scent that I've ever smelled like this actually smells like you're whipping up a cake in the kitchen which is insane to me um that I've been buying wax forever and I've never had a scent that smelt more like cake than that one, which is a fairly new scent, because I've never seen any other vendor carry that. Um, so I can only imagine that it's pretty new, which I find just really funny. All right, then I also got cotton candy frosting because his cotton candy scents are by far the best. Um, he also has a spun sugar scent, which is also basically cotton candy. And I have had his cotton candy scents I, forever. I've always bought cotton candy. It's always been my favorite. It is just amazing. So cotton candy frosting, he also has, I think I actually bought some other cotton candy ones. Yeah, he has regular cotton candy, which I have here. And then of course, like I said, the sponge sugar. They're both equally amazing. Well, 
not, I'm not going to say that. They're both really, really good, but I like the cotton candy frosting just a little bit better just because I feel like it's a little bit more stronger and more sweeter than this one, but this one is still, like, really good. Then we have apple chai, which is kind of just like a random one. I have one or two wild cards in here just because I was kind of at the end of my order and I kind of went back through really quick just to make sure there was nothing else that I wanted to get. And this one kind of just popped out at me. I'm like, oh, I'll try it. Yeah, it's okay. It definitely smells like apple and then a very strong tea scent. I really wouldn't say chai. It mostly smells like, um, like, like I said, a very strong cinnamon -y apple with a very strong tea background. I don't think it smells like chai. <clears throat> and then I got lemon sugar bundt cake, which I don't know. I got this thinking I've never tried it before, and I haven't checked yet, but something tells me I do have this one, but I don't know. I like this one a lot more than the Lemon Eclair, which, and I thought the Lemon Eclair was going to be a little bit more creamier, which is why I got that one. However, I think this one is a lot stronger. It's a lot more bakery. It is um, <clears throat> a little bit more like a lemon curd-ish type of scent, but I do like this one better. And I do love lemon curd, don't get me wrong. I've just trying to been find trying to been finding <laughs> trying to find a sweeter one. All right, then I got strawberry raspberry guava because I just finished my last one and I loved it. So I definitely needed more of it. And he, believe it or not, fun fact, I think was the first vendor I've ever tried this scent from. And it was like heaven from there. And then um the bathing garden came out with guava berry sorbet which became another one of my all-time favorites so those were the first two vendors that i've ever tried this type of scent from and i'm obsessed and i've loved it ever since and when i melted it the other day i felt so nostalgic because i remember being 16 17 in my bedroom when i first got into wax like melting that and I remember I used to melt it all the time and then I kind of stopped buying it and now I'm back on the train again and I just feel so nostalgic when I smell it. All right, then I got strawberry white cake, which is also new to me from him. This one's okay. It doesn't um, smell like the strawberry white cake that I'm used to. It kind of smells more like fresh picked strawberries if you ask me, but it is good. I do like it. It is a good strong strawberry scent very very strong I definitely recommend cutting that one into fourths if not half I always cut his in half by the way most of my two ounce sun shots I cut in half just because I feel like less is more with most vendors so um, I always do an ounce probably sometimes even less than an ounce uh, with vendors which is why it takes me so long to go through my wax all right, then I got Earl Grey and apple tea. So I love this scent on occasion. It's not something that I melt all the time, but I do like to buy it on occasion just because it's something nice to kind of relax to at the end of the day. And I love it. And I can't really explain it. Like the name kind of says it all. Like it's definitely Earl Grey, which I love the smell of Earl Grey. I don't like the taste of it, but I love the smell of it. And then the apple is more of like kind of a bakery apple cinnamon. I don't know. It's just, it's really, really good. It's really relaxing to me. All right, then I got Fruit Brute. So I guess this is a cereal, which I knew nothing about. I had no idea what this scent was. I got it as a sample from Candles in the Keeping Room like a year ago. And I really liked it, but I never bothered looking for it um, after that just because I just thought it was like a house blend or something from hers. And... Uh, since then, this is the only vendor that I've seen that had it. So I was like, ooh, let me like grab that real quick. And then I saw in the picture that it's a cereal. So that kind of blew my mind. I was like, oh, wow, I thought that was like, a, I don't know, a, a drink or something. I had no idea that it was a cereal. It's really good. It smells very strongly of cherries. His smells a little bit more medicinal. Medicinal? How do you say it? Medicine? <laughs> <laughs> than Candles from the Keeping Rooms does because cherry scents, a lot of them come off smelling like cough syrup to me. I mean, they just do. That's just my nose, which is why I don't like cherry scents. Uh, but I liked the one from her. From him, it definitely smells more strongly of cherries. 
which does kind of get off that medicine type of scent for me. Um, but I will go ahead and try it anyways because things do change on warm. All right, then the last one that I have here is Nana's Bakery. I have wax all over my hands. This one I do like, but it's a definitely a spicier one. Yeah, it's kind of even leaning towards too spicy for me. Yeah, it's definitely like a, a definitely a cinnamon stick type of scent. I really don't know how else to explain it. To me, it mostly just smells like a spicy cinnamon. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this one or not. Okay, but that is everything. Um, I'm really, really happy with most of these and I'm really excited to start melting them. And um, I'm really happy that I came out with some new ones because for a while there, it kind of just seemed like he was going to keep restocking the same things over and over again. Uh, but I'm glad that he's kind of branching out a little bit. And I also noticed that he seems to have a lot on the website most of the time for the most part. And I do remember that there was a time where we all had to kind of wait for a restock. And then it was, you know, one of those mad dashes towards the finish line, basically, to see who can get what. Um, but as of lately, it seems like he does have things on his website, unless I'm just getting really lucky and I'm kind of just there around restock times. Uh, since I stopped buying wax for those few months, I did stop following pages and like Facebook groups and stuff. So I do, I'm really not in the in right now. I don't know who's doing restocks. I don't really know who's doing what. Um, so I could just be getting lucky. Uh, but I have been going to just like kind of random websites like I'll scroll through my Instagram and be like oh I haven't ordered from you in a while or you know um, I've been meaning to order from you I think there's only one new vendor that I've ordered from since I started buying again and it was because there's just really this one product that I was dying to have dying to have and I was able to get my hands on one which blew my mind this product this was something that i've never seen before so i'm really excited to show that to you no i lied there is two vendors actually um there's another one that was doing a sampler that i really wanted to get my hands on and it was kind of funny because it worked out almost perfectly because i was at my godmother's house and she had given me a bag of sam or well yeah basically a bag of wax that she kind of wasn't using or just said that i could have and uh, one of them was this vendor in this scent, which I thought was like really funny. Then all of a sudden I see this vendor doing a sampler on this blend. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, so I got that sampler and I think that's it. I think there's just those two new vendors. The rest of them are all vendors that I've ordered from in the past. Some of these orders I went way overboard. And that's me saying this. Now this is me talking about large hauls, which I've done, you know, a, a handful of large hauls in my day um, and I went a little bit cray cray with some of these and I hope I don't regret it I really hope I don't regret it all right I'm gonna stop babbling now I'm gonna save that for a chit chatty video so thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next one stay safe sane and healthy bye guys